Hello, welcome to the module number four of Olympus FV 3000 Flowview software demonstration. And in this module, we'll be discussing about how do you acquire the image and uh, basically set the parameters like Z series and the time series and things like that. So if you see uh, in the software interface, this is the area that we'll be focusing upon right now. If you zoom into the first area, which is live, live cross 2, live cross 4, what all these mean is that if you click live, it will not be acquiring the image, it will be just showing you live as a picture here. And uh, that will be give you give you a quick uh, way by which you can set up the parameters which are shown here. If this is taking up too much time, then you can go for live cross 2, it will, uh, what it will do instead of taking for example, 512 by 512, it will be imaging the similar area, but 256 by 256 lines. So it will be leaving one line in between. And hence you'll be able to get the same image at one fourth time. And live cross four will be doing that uh, four times fa uh, faster than that the previous live cross two. So you can get really fast image, but uh, a lot of very grainy image. So usually live cross two is good enough, uh, but you can choose whatever you want. Uh, what is this Hilo option? So Hilo is an option which you can use to highlight the pixels which are uh, zero in signal and are saturated in signal. Why is this is useful? So I have seen most of the people who are biologists who end up uh, seeing beautiful images, the green color, the red color, and the blue color. It looks really beautiful, but Unfortunately, it doesn't have the information which is needed for doing quantitative imaging. Uh, by that, what I mean is that if you have a lot of background signal and a lot of saturated pixels, uh, you will be having a bad quality image, which is not very worthwhile for use in quantitative imaging. If you click Hilo, then you will be able to see all the pixels which are blue, uh, like zero in signal highlighted as blue in color hence accordingly you can adjust the offset parameter so that you can have kind of nice zero background on the other hand you also do not want to have any saturated pixel in the image what do i mean by saturation so uh, it, very simply put uh, when you wake up in the morning and uh, you try to see out of the window the bright sunny light because there's so much of light, you are not able to see the details, the trees and the cars and nothing like that. All you just see is like bright white light. So similar is the situation for the microscope. When you have a lot of laser intensity coming in or you have very high voltage, uh, then you end up having so much light in for the detector or so much signal that it is not able to see the details. So on one side it is bad for the imaging and on the other hand it is also in long run not good for the detector so it's always a good idea to make sure that there are no red pixels in the hilo mode in your image now if we see this area this is where you can set the time and the z for setting up time you have to check this option on and then you can set up the parameter like interval how many uh, uh, how many seconds do you want up to up till how much time do you want to do it so this way you can uh, set up the parameter for time series similarly uh, for z all you have to do is to click on here and then you can move the focus down to the locus lowest focal plane and click register and similarly you can move the focus up to the topmost plane and then click register and this way it will be registering both the start and the end points and if you uh, want to see how many uh, slices are going to be there, uh, this will be auto filled anyway, based upon the step size. Uh, you can click optimize here to the, do the Nyquist sampling again. Uh, that way you do not have to worry whether you are going to miss out any object or you're going to under sample or over sample. So Olympus guys have done a good job here. Once this is done, then you'll be seeing that uh, in next picture that it is giving you overall time required for one image. Uh, when you click LSM start, this will be giving you the remaining time and things like that. Mm. 
further uh, if you acquired the image and you saw that oh it didn't c complete all the images or all the planes that i wanted i have some more focal planes to take you can click up and next and it will add more z slices to it in order to save the data the data is automatically saved in the destination folder here right now it's c drive click on this option and make sure that you are never ever storing any data on c drive because if you store the data on c drive c drive is small it will fill up really quick and the computer will crash number one number two if the computer crash happens then your data is also lost so it's always a good idea to click on this option it will open a dialog box like this and where you can browse to a folder of location choice in the d drive if you are acquiring normal data but if you are acquiring streaming data like meaning you are having a high volume of data and high speed data acquisition then you can use the e drive which is a ssd solid state disk uh, so it can acquire uh, data at twice the speed compared to normal hard disk once you are done with setting up these parameters you can click lsm start and image acquisition is done then you can say series done and it will be automatically saved the software has got a very good feature that uh, if the name is not renamed to a new file name for the next imaging uh, then it will simply add 001 002 without overwriting the old data so that way you do not end up uh, <laughs> overwriting your old data and uh, losing all the images great and once your imaging is done uh, make sure that you cut your folder out of this uh, folder system and put it on the interdepartmental l drive in rcf and users under your net id folder so that uh, you can take the images with yourself uh, the transfer speed of this data is about 10 mbps so accordingly calculate how much time it is going to take you for example for 20 gb data it will take 30 minutes so plan accordingly and uh, use of uh, pen drive or hard disk is discouraged because it sometimes is the cause of corruption of the software so with that we come to the end of module number four uh, we'll see you in module number five we'll be doing some basic image analysis